So right now we're in Tanji on the smiling coast of Africa. The fishermen just came from a long night at sea, so they stay all night fishing and they come back in the morning for this amazing market. Well, here in Tanji is one of the best places you can have fish at a very cheap price. But we've seen what these people do here at sea. Now we have to get a little bit serious. We're exploring our next project called Mbolo. Let's see what this association is doing in the lives of people here in this community. Welcome to Fandema. I'm here to give opportunities to young girls, empowering women through renewable energy. Renewable energy is an energy that can be reused and it's so important to me because in Africa we have a lot of sunlight. So if we have solar panels, it can help us a lot to generate more energy. One of the most fascinating things about this place is that the entire facility is powered by solar and wind energy from, that was built by the students here. They have so much energy that they in fact store some and give to the outside community as well. How amazing is that? I mean, what's even more interesting is that the trainers are so, so inspiring and it's easy for the students to quickly learn and grasp things. Look at the knowledge that I'm having, I'm really transforming it to them. So I'm there to be their role model because anytime they feel like I cannot do it, I tell them, Fatunja can do it, all of you can do it because I'm a lady like you. It's clear to me that Fandema is at the forefront of education. I've never seen a place like this, such a, a space to empower women in this situation, but just to empower young people, an education that is sustainable and that promotes human values. I'm really grateful to Mbolo for this opportunity that they have given us to empower us as women. Because some of the men do say that this is not a job for women, but we don't mind. As far as we want to empower women and we like the job, so we will really do it. I can imagine how fulfilling it is for these young women to make it to this point in their lives when they actually thought it was never going to be possible for them and their families and now they get this opportunity to be able to study and do what they want without paying a cost. It's important because renewable energy is the way forward and these women need all the mechanized approaches to be able to do uh, what they want to do best for their community as a whole. Here out on the field we can already see that all the women who come out of the Fondema project are doing practical work, they're helping the local communities by bringing solar power here to a market and also they installed a cooling system in there to help the ladies be able to sell their products for a longer period of time so it doesn't get bad. This is just fantastic to see. Now uh, with Mamuda. Yes, we will be going to Mamuda, so we we'll see how these women are really um, using this opportunity that was given to them at the Fandema project site uh, in their own respective uh, communities. Here in Mamuda, we have a multi-solar platform that is at a very strategic location. It connects two communities that are nine and seven kilometers away from accessing electricity. What's even more interesting about this project is that the community gets electric tricycles. These tricycles do not emit gas, and at the same time, they help these communities to have their goods transported into the uh, solar multi-solar platform where they get stored in the refrigerators and as well get their phones charged and their other electric needs. Wow!